Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video we will be talking about Pinnacle Tower. That is something that you unlock after you get to level 100. Then you can unlock this uh, area right here, the Pinnacle Tower. But you need something more than that. You need 150 stars. This is the stars that it will talk that this is the stars that the Pinnacle Tower is talking about. Basically, the Pinnacle Tower is a very late game thing that you can upgrade. It uses a lot of resources such as spirits, books and essence and a lot of gold. In order to unlock it, as I said before, you need level 100 and 150 stars. These stars you unlock every time you add a star onto a hero. Every single hero starts at 3 star or 5 star for legendary heroes. This is a 6 star hero. Every one of these purple stars is one extra star. This is a 5 star hero. This one does not add any of these stars right here. They need to have more than these 5 initial ones. This one has 2 purple stars. That means that he adds 2 stars to this total right here. And then it just goes on. This adds 3 stars to this total. 4 stars to this total. This one adds 6 stars to this total. This one is 5 star. The 5 purple stars right here. Plus 1. That means 6. The higher you get a hero, the more stars they give to this one. And you want all of the normals eventually. Normal heroes are the heroes with the orange border. The legendary heroes are heroes with this kind of border. Legendary heroes start at 5 star and then if you add 2 more fragments to them, they can get up to 6 star adding a total here right here. Every single hero can in total add 10 stars for this one. For 6 to 15. Once you unlock Pinnacle Tower, you can upgrade this main tower right here. It costs a lot of gold and you can upgrade it. Every single 5 that you get, you can get one more level. 150 that means that you can get up to 30. Everything you want you add above that one you can get from the stars in here. This one is 167. That means I can get it up to 33. 15 over 150 that means 33. But it is not only as grim as that. You can also get more stars from Fiend Slayers. Let me teleport over to Fiend Slayers. Let me go down here and you can see, let me just click on this one. This one gives Pinnacle XP. I have two currently and that is because I have 167. 165 is what I needed for the star level, for the level in the Pinnacle Tower itself. Now I have 167, that means 2 over. That means I have 2, every single one of these that I kill I can give me 1. 1 there. The mobs does not give them. I'm not entirely sure how many you can get from finishing an entire Fiend's Lair, but it is a lot of them. Let me go back. Basically, when you want to push the tower, you want to push the Fiend's Lairs, because that help you a lot, as well as just pushing normal heroes. There are three side towers and one main tower. The main tower you just upgrade with gold and pinnacle XP. The side towers you can upgrade with gold, spirits, books and essence. That gives some more stats. Agility hole gives attack, crit damage and dodge. Strength tower gives max HP, defense and defense ignored. Int tower gives max HP, int percentage, and energy per 3 seconds. Eventually, you want a lot of... Um, you want these to get really, really high. This one, you need really high to get Franken to really, really pop off. 
but that one is so many years away that you don't really need to focus on that right now but you want to get this one up more attacking crit damage that is also very good for wolf my wolf is currently 14 star he can do a lot of damage so attacking crit damage will help him a lot i am currently working on int tower on this account because of under break that i'm using helps a lot but you also need to be a building strength tower the main things that you need to focus on to get as soon as you can this will take a long time that is to get this number right here level up to 60 or 65 that is to make sure that Mathos and Singifen has a hundred percent MDE on their own without a booster here you can see what you can do without a booster to get a hundred percent MDE I'm currently on 302, that means that my Anna Break currently has 100% MDE, which means he has 80% here, plus 20% that he gets from his passive skill. Okay, I am ending this off to show you a clip that I took about 303 in Statue of Heroes. This one is really cool because you can really see what 100% MDE on their damage dealer can really do in Statue of Heroes. 100% MDE without a booster, that is. That means that you can use an extra hero for increasing your damage or locking down the opponents.
I was not expecting to win this, as you can probably see on my mouse clicking, but uh, I'm super happy that I did, and now I'll just get back to the video. Mathos, however, he doesn't have any boost right that, but he is the best damage dealer in the entire game, but you really need to get him up to that point, so that you can use another hero, such as maybe Dryad or or Executioner to just lock them down and here you can see the difference they can get up to 400 and the reason because of that is because their Mathas right here has 100% MDE on its own and also that you can completely lock them down that one you can do with Dryad and Medusa or Catherine in order to make it work with Catherine, you need this in tower to get up to like 65, I think it was. That is to get enough energy per second that she can continuously lock them down with her active. Because her active stuns all five heroes on the enemy team. But you need a lot of energy to do that and of course 13 star zeal. There's a lot that you can do in this tower, but mainly... It is really hard to get a lot of these resources in plenty. You can get a lot of these resources from uh, doing your dungeon smashes. You will be doing all of them anyway. Every single day, all of them, so that there is no red button. Let me just do all of these. <laughs> you can also get a lot of them from Rift, if you can afford it with the stamina. The stamina cost is pretty high i'm always low on this but it is worth it if you have a lot of them if you profit them you can go into here and do these ones as well they give a lot of spirits and books which helps every single month you can also do the Fiend's Lair's bosses because you can smash them to get a lot of extra rewards such as books and spirits or even keys. Let me go back into the map so you can see. Right here. Here you can see 200k spirit and some books. The other bosses also has that. <laughs> another thing that you can do to get more books and spirits is to refresh the item shop here you can buy all of this stuff you don't really need to buy essence because you get all so much from them from statue of heroes but the other resources is very good to buy if you have the gold and you should be pushing flame dragon anyways to get the gold this can help a lot with helping you progress the Pinnacle Tower. As you can see, I'm getting some of them. There is some books that I've been getting already. And you can also get gold keys, spins and uh, dragon eyes and also the occasional stamina potion which will help you do more rifts. Here I've done some of them, I haven't been too lucky with spirits and magic books but I've gotten a lot of other resources which is nice. Another thing that you can do is in the donation shop when uh, the dragon eye event comes you can spend all of your remaining guild coins and just buy a lot of these. This is really worthwhile and the best thing that you can do after you get these. After that, there is not really that many more methods that you can be uh, picking up, that you can be picking up spirits, books, and essence. 
but they are a very passive resource that you can get a lot of if you just wait but the more you push it the more you go for it the faster you can get the tower up and the tower helps so much just look at this one just leveling up the main tower right here gives me so much max hp next thing that we'll be going and looking for let me go into Okay, so let me go into browser. Screw it. I'm just doing display capture. Okay, so this is the net.replace.net. It takes you here. There are some links right here, such as Reddit, Facebook, and the Bojangles uh, blog, also the Discord server. Right here, you can go into sections, go down into Pinnacle Cost Benefit. Here, you can see the different levels that you need to get, that you want to be getting, and the cost of them. Let us say that I went up to level 17 in Tower, the one that I went into now, and level 33 main tower here you can see the cost that i have currently spent 138 million spirits almost six five and a half million books in essence 35 stones and 1.3 billion gold and what it gives me here you can see that the max hp and energy per second and all of these as well what you really want to be getting is this in tower right here, all the way up to 65. That gives you enough energy for Catherine to completely stun lock the entire enemy team for the complete duration of the fight. And here you can see the cost. And you also want the strength tower to get up to 60 or 65. Let me just put that up to 65 as well, 133. This is the cost of what you really want to be getting into Pinnacle Tower, and you can see just how insane these numbers are. This is a very late game thing to do, but the sooner you get it, you will be getting some insane amount of progress, not just in a statue of heroes, but in Runes of Miracles, in the map, in Twin Slayers, in a lot of different game modes, especially a lot of them and there is one resource that you can see right here philosopher's stones those you get from pushing in the statue of heroes above level 150. the more you push the tower the more the philosopher's stones you will be able to get this one it will take you a long time it is 18 billion gold it is 2.5 billion spirits 10 million, 100 million books in the sense. This is a lot of resources and you need to get all of them because you really need to get the pinnacle tower up to this point. Let me get back to this one. This one, it just takes a long time, but the more you push it, the faster you will get it done. The best way that is that uh, is possible in order to get this as soon as possible is of course the item shop. And just refreshing this as much as you can, getting all of the resources that you can get. But you need the gold to do that first, and I'm currently using Anna Break in Statue of Heroes, working pretty well. You also want to do your Hell Gates. If you want to increase the amount of resources that you'll be able to get, I will be able to show you some stuff that you can do to make it faster. Firstly, the White Tiger Samurai. It reduces the stamina cost for battles with 10%. 
that means that you save a lot of stamina from doing dungeon smashes that stamina you can use in the rift next up not was it this one that is guild trials that is not one i was thinking about Frost Wolf is very good because it saves you diamonds that you can use more diamonds of in the item shop and also in the rift. This one, Hellgate loot by 20%, that is pretty good. It stacks up. This one is Dungeon Smashes, also very good. This one is Rifts. This one is one of the best ones. If you buy more attempts in here, it is depending on your VIP level. You can just buy more attempts. That is a lot of extra resources that you'll be able to get. But this is all VIP stuff that people that spend a lot of money. Let's say that you spend like $400-$500 uh, in one event to just buy all of the mount boxes. There's some good here like the diamond saving ones and a lot of the resource gathering ones. But basically... The tower is an incredibly late game thing to do. The faster you are able to push it, the more progression you will be able to get. Basically, the first things that you really need to do is to max out all of the giant uh, event heroes, which means all of the normal heroes. You need all of them up to 15 star because that helps the pinnacle tower a lot. Even if you have all of the resources that you need to level up the tower, you might not have the stars that you need. So just remember, star up your normal heroes. Do not buy legendary heroes with Dragon Eyes because that will just screw you over completely. And this is a shorter video. Thank you so much for watching. I need to do some other stuff. But uh, if I forgot something about the Pinnacle Tower, you can... Ask me in the comment section because I am so dry in my voice. I just had a well, three and a half hour long stream the, before today. So that was really funny. I'm happy about that. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. This has been a very short one, but it is what it is.